So Chris with South Carolina Gun School, we're out here at NOC Train and Learn. We got Jason Johnson, pro knife thrower, out here showing gun guys how to throw knives. I know it's something I've been trying to do for a really long time, and all I ever get is that thwang sound. So I can say bullets are less forgiving than what knives are. But it seems to be sometimes. It yeah. is. You know, you miss with a bullet, you just don't hear well, anything. You got more bullets. Yeah. Right, right, <laughs> right. And changing the mindset of gun guys and carrying knives, how we carry the mindset of having that knife. Because I know one thing you talk about is that 10, in that 10 foot, a lot of things that we talk about are that 21 foot rule yeah. and how quickly somebody can close in. And I love your concept around having that knife to really kind of give that distraction, that pause, to be able to get sure, fight to, your next to, you, to your next weapon, yes. And it was two, two changes this guy made in my technique. An hour and two changes, and I've been trying to do this for six, seven months now, and I was sticking it every time after that. Well, don't feel bad. I started when I was 10, trying my best to get things to stick, and then taught myself the system of how to be able to do So it. What, what made you want to start throwing knives? Because I know we talked a little bit this morning in hunting and around guns and everything. What made you want to start with throwing knives? Uh, too many martial arts movie marathons. <laughs> Small <laughs> town and uh, utter dedication to not let myself be able to not do something I want to right. do. Right. So just developing the science around just sheer dedication and being like on board. So. And I know it was one thing where I, I follow different knife throwers and stuff and trying to watch them and you know they're talking about the weight of this knife, right. this distance, yeah. you got a blade in, that a handle. Right, that's when I found you. I was like, this is the dude that I need to be getting with. Because sure. your concept was just phenomenal because it wasn't blade in or anything like that. No. It's just the technique of it. If you get the technique of right. it down, it's it's any it's distance. It's going to be done with a pair of needle nose pliers, paring knives, screwdrivers. No, like and that's what tripped me out is I've, I've seen this guy throw a pair of freaking scissors, a butter knife. He's been out here throwing people's pocket knives and sticking it every freaking time. Hey, broke one. Sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, shit happens uh, when you're out here, man. It's, but no, you've even changed my mind about the kind of knife that I'm going to start carrying. Sure. Because the, the story you told about the guy reaching into your car and fumbling with that knife, it's kind of made it. me, right, yeah, right. I, it made me think like, I'm already over there like, hmm, I'm like, shit, because I've got an automatic knife, you've got to push it over I'm like, straight away, knife is out right there. Right, right, right. So no, it, so how long have you been doing this actually? Since I was 10 years old, since the fall of the Berlin Wall. So wow. For 30 years I've been throwing knives and, and in the last 10 years I've probably started deciding that I could teach folks and progress on what is lost. My biggest thing is my kids, do this for my children, to pass on a lineage of, you know, a, a legacy of something they can do and something they can look forward to. But the biggest, the biggest thing is me able to be able to train somebody how to do something that's just a primal defense mechanism. Right. Same as throwing a rock, same as right. throwing a staple or a can of soup, apparently when it's or anything with weight. Especially, if I have a knife, I'm gonna. If I'm sitting in a metal chair. Well, I'll probably throw the metal chair at you before I hit you with a knife. Especially right now with ammo being hard to find. <laughs> yeah, it's cheaper to reload. Right, and I know a big joke with a lot of guys that I train with with guns and everything is, you know, what's gonna happen after you know if bullets are gone? It, you know that that whole apocalyptic scenario, shits hit the fan, society collapses. Eventually, bullets are gonna go out. We've got to go old school. Well, people will resort back to old school methods. Right. And I mean, right. uh, up until we started shooting things like arrows, we were not a warring culture. People lived with each other, and we, once we started shooting things, we started finding it easier to cause wars. Right. But once, when people were throwing things like spears, knives, tomahawks, fighting hand to hand, it was a much more respectable. Uh, we knew the real of what it was to kill a man. To look in their eyes and watch the exact. Yeah. That that is another thing about a knife is. It is a little more personal because you're up close, and right. that's a whole different aspect in itself. But it's just been phenomenal to train with this guy. I was it was just an hour, but I gained so much in an hour. The way you teach, that you break it down to where everybody can understand it, and it just simple changes in those techniques. So if you're out there and you want to learn to throw a knife, this is the guy to talk to. This is the guy to talk to. I probably should have hit you up a long time ago because <laughs> I was just like, damn, this and this. And I'm like, shit. So, I, I mean, ph phenomenal. And you see what I'm doing is actually turning it into just making a cut. Yeah. It's a sword cut. It's a caveman smashes someone with the club. No, and and no, nobody, nobody has ever said anything like that. Sure.
or you know everybody's talking about this technique and this is how you stand this is how you want to throw it but just making it so simple is just a, a cut just like if you're walking through with like you said you know a, a machete cutting limbs out of the way it's it's that same concept so there's four different grips in four different regions the cut never changes so let me ask my last question would this same concept apply to a tomahawk? Everything is exactly the same. Yes, the tomahawk. The only difference is that I turn the tomahawk backwards when I'm up close, so it does technically like a quarter. Turn. Okay. So it's sticking with the handle up. Gotcha. Right. So if I'm up close and I want to throw that tomahawk, it's going to immediately overflip. But if I turn it backwards, it's going to be handled up with the blade sticking in. Gotcha. Makes sense. Awesome. And then everything else is the same movie. And this dude makes some cool ass knives too. <laughs> I've been checking out his knives. If I'm not mistaken, you forged these, correct? So I, I, I do a lot of customs. These are this is a knife I've made, yes. But this is a sheet stock 5160. I do all the heat treating. It's multiple thermal cycles. Uh, that's probably a 58, 59 Rockwell. Um, you know, saber tooth. Those are on ProKnifeThrower.com. I have the baby tooth also, which is a little bit smaller of a knife. It looks just like that. A little bit more concealed, carryable. I've got a prototype coming out. That's a three and a half inch bladed, uh, kind of an EDC version of a blade that I'll keep, kind of keep under wraps. But yeah, we got a bunch of stuff coming out. The tomahawk, the primal habitat utility. Oh yeah, I've already been checking that out. I've already been uh, checking that out. Centered around bushcrafting and warfare, and it comes out of an enemy just as easy as it goes into it. Yes. So that's important. And these things, for, I mean, just holding this thing, it just you can feel how easy this is to throw the way that it's made. So yeah, ProKnifeThrower.com is where you can find this stuff. Pro Knife Thrower on Instagram, if I'm correct. Got it. Right. Check him out. You're not going to be disappointed. It just, it, hey, if anything, go follow him and just watch him throw shit and watch. You'll be absolutely Yeah, amazing. we got a lot of cool stuff on the page, so yeah. roll around. But I, thank you very much, Absolutely, sir. brother. Appreciate it. No very problem. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Do it again. Yes. Sir. You win that now. Chris about to be at the range. No more hey. guns. Straight <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. Oh, I got some, uh, yeah. 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 Y